Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Ashley Goebel, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the country has seen a sharp decline in blood donations. Staff has been unavailable and events canceled, leading to a serious shortage in supply. Mobile collectors like the Big Red Bus have made it easier for everyone, including UNF students, to help save lives. The blood bus can, can sometimes be found in our Osprey Plaza and offers lots of incentives like a free t-shirt or a $20 gift card like for certain real retailers like American Eagle and Amazon. The process takes no more than 45 minutes, so consider taking advantage of this opportunity. Earth Day falls on April 22nd this year, and UNF organizations have lots of events planned to give back to the planet. The Center for Community-Based Learning is hosting a cleanup at Jacksonville Beach from 12 to 3 p.m. with free transportation offered. Students can sign up for the group shuttle on Osprey Impact. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. that same day, Lasso is hosting group acti activities at the Ogier Gardens in hopes of fostering a more environmentally conscious campus. We only have one planet, so let's help keep it beautiful. For a fun and peaceful day with the family, consider checking out William F. Sheffield Regional Park. The land was acquired in 2003 and spans 385 acres. The park is equipped with large fields to take out the dog and relax and basketball courts for the kids to play. It, is, it has a scenic walking trail that wraps around the beautiful pond where the geese hang out. Near the basketball courts is a playground for the younger children to go crazy, as well as a football field toward the back of the park. Come out and enjoy the great outdoors at William F. Sheffield Park. Rio Bonito Latino Food Market on Ho San Jose Boulevard is a Portuguese grocery store that sells imported products from Brazil. While some brands you might recognize, most items you'll likely never have seen unless you've been to Brazil. It's a tradition in Brazil to give kids a big stuffed chocolate egg for Easter instead of a chocolate bunny like in America. And you can buy those eggs at Rio Bonito. Shopping here makes it feel like you've stepped out of the country and there are plenty of new things to try. On Southside Boulevard, you can find a unique anime themed restaurant called Supa Noodle Bar. Here you can customize your own Asian soup bowls with a range of ingredients to choose from. You start by choosing your broth, then your noodle option, ramen, pho, or udon, and then add any additional veggies and toppings. This spot serves good food, but may be more notable for their Dragon Ball themed interior. If you're over by Jack's Beach, you may want to check out Ink Factory Brewing. This hidden gem is tucked behind an ABC liquor store off of Beach Road, so not many people know about this spot. I visited Ink Factory Brewing to show us what makes this local brewery so special. Hey Ospreys, just inside this former magazine publishing warehouse is a microbrewery and coffee bar. Ink Factory Brewing gives off a Florida vibe and is very passionate about surf, skate, music, and art. Come hang out and have a beer or catch up with some friends over a cup of coffee. Ashley Goebel, Inside Swoop. In a strip mall on Atlantic Boulevard, you can find Stretch Lab, a place where people go to relieve tension going through assisted stretching routines. The stretching sessions are conducted by professionals called flexologists and last either 25 or 50 minutes. Prior to the session, the flexologist customizes the client's stretching routine with the help of the MAPS machine, a device that scans the client's bodies and identifies areas where they might have tightness or previous injuries. Stretch Lab also offers group stretches that allow up to six participants at a time. So if you're looking to loosen up your body and feel more mobile, give Stretch Lab a try. On San Jose Boulevard is Queen of Angels Catholic Store, which carries a large selection of Catholic goods and gift items. In the back of the store, the book section is stocked with a Catholic fiction, autobiographies, children books, and how to pray guides. Aside from books, you'll find all kinds of church goods, home decor, wall crosses, and gifts for all of the Catholics in your life, like clothing, statues, mugs, and rosaries. Picture it like a Hallmark shop, just with exclusively Catholic-related items. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Ashley Goebel. Thanks for joining me on Inside Swoop.